Hello everyone. So I hope you are doing good and safe at your location. So uh, yesterday uh, in one of my previous videos, uh, I covered the uh, high level what I'm going to cover in migration approach. So I cover the uh, theoretical part, what all I'm going to cover in this series of uh, discussion for migration planning and approach. So we covered the basic things and uh, in those basic things I uh, explained about the reference architecture and uh, the the agenda of the slide the migration planning and approach and what all practicals will be done so in this we will uh, start deploying our architecture so so we will deploy this architecture and uh, uh, on aws so in this uh, what i'm going to deploy we will use the stack that is already created by aws so this part uh, we will deploy using the uh, cloud formation and this part. So this will be deployed. So I, as I explained before, uh, this is customer data center and this is AWS cloud. But since we, uh, for demo purpose, we cannot create customer data center, but uh, uh, this uh, will be created on the AWS cloud itself only. And we will migrate uh, from one VPC to another VPC. So uh, there is no difference in that. Just only difference is that it will be on the, uh, this is also on the AWS cloud, but uh, just for demo purpose, these uh, there are two separate scenarios. Because for demo purpose, we cannot create a customer data center. So all this infrastructure will be on the cloud, but for understanding purpose, all this uh, uh, is customer data center and this is AWS cloud. And we will create another, uh, I'll create another video for uh, Microsoft Azure cloud. <clears throat> so once all this is done, then we will start the practical. So today uh, in this video, I'll explain how to uh, deploy this architecture using the cloud formation stack, because we cannot create all this infrastructure that will take a lot of time. So just deploy the architecture using cloud automation, uh, the using cloud formation stack, and we can start our uh, the, the main topic that we are covering the migration planning. <clears throat> so in this, uh, let's move forward and deploy the architecture using cloud formation stack. And then we will explore that environment and access that environment through bash and host. <clears throat> so uh, let, let's deep dive into more into practicals that will make uh, things more interesting. So let me get into the, let's deploy the architecture. So uh, let me get to the cloud console. So I am into my AWS Cloud Console. So you can log in into the, your uh, own uh, free tire account. All these uh, practicals are possible in your free tire account. And uh, 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 we, I'm into cloud formation and uh, in uh, US West 2 region. So uh, I am using the stack that is created by <clears throat> AWS for learning purposes. So I'm using the same uh, stack to create our infrastructure so let's deploy our stack so uh, these are the uh, instructions i'll paste these instructions in the uh, <laughs> description of this video or uh, i'll create a separate blog for this also so you can just copy and paste these commands and uh, <clears throat> test your uh, practicals so open a cloud formation stack uh, and create new resources, select region uh, US West 2 and use this stack. So let's use this template and create a stack. Create stack. Paste. One more thing, uh, I faced one small problem that uh, <clears throat> to deploy this stack, you need more number of elastic IPs. So in case uh, you get an error rate related to EIP, then you need to uh, increase the limit of these uh, EIPs, elastic IP addresses. So by default, it's five, but in case you get any error, you need to increase this uh, limit to 10. I'll, I'll also let you know how to increase the limit of this uh, elastic IPs. So once you go to service quotas, that, that's the only error that I faced by why, uh, while deploying this stack. So you can uh, increase that. Sorry, not service catalog, service quota, quotas, yeah. <clears throat> so 
so in this if we go to elastic cloud compute cloud so here you will find this uh, ec2 vpc elastic ips so you can uh, request aws to increase incre increase this uh, uh, to 10 and then you can start deploying this stack that's the only error that i faced to deploy this stack and uh, you can just request quota increase to AWS. So in case you get any error related to this, you can ask for quota increase and give them sufficient reason justify it that I want to test it and test this stack for, for migration practicals and, and raise this request. So create a request, so let's create stack and test our practicals so use the same template use these uh, uh, default value uh, settings click on next so here uh, use the name uh, migration immersion day so that's a name we have to kept so i'll mention all those details So you can use the same name uh, as there are certain settings in the stack that uh, uh, that needs to be followed. So again, I'm telling you that I'm using the stack that is created by AWS. So you can use the same name. Keep this name, else you will get a lot of errors. So that's the there are certain settings in the stack. So you need to follow that. So let's use the. So you need to mention the passwords also. Admin. Uh, password and uh, root password to uh, deploy the uh, to manage the components that will be deployed using this so th as i described before this will deploy the <coughs> applications their database and dns i'll go through it once it is done so let's define the uh, names and password so let's keep admin admin at the rate one two so you can keep same else uh, uh, it'll, it'll give a lot of uh, uh, due to these policies you can keep your own password also but i found this quite suitable so you can use the same one admin one two three so do mention these uh, passwords in your uh, notepad so you can follow them at the later stage admin at the rate one two admin123 so admin123 is the root password for managing the linux instances and admin1 is the bastion host so rest keep everything default and uh, in case you already have some identity and access uh, role in place for migrations and all those details so you can uh, keep it uh, make it false else keep it true as per your requirement so click on next so once you click on next uh, everything keep by default select this option preserve successfully provisioned resources so in case there are so many <clears throat> minor errors while deploying this stack it will not be rolled back and uh, we can test our practicals next so this is the <clears throat> overview of this stack. So what is all going to be deployed? So we can use all this. So select these two options and click create stack. <clears throat> so our uh, stack creation is in progress. So this will take around 15, 20 minutes. So for the time being, I'll uh, pause this video. So again, uh, this will deploy uh, our basic infrastructure so that we need not to waste our time creating the waste infrastructure uh, in creating the infrastructure so uh, just for your information this <clears throat> this will deploy uh, on premises sort of infrastructure on aws so to understand the our demo so I'll, i'm using this because creating on premises infrastructure is not possible for demo purposes it's available in reach uh, real time scenarios also but for clearing the concepts it, it's possible so this stack will deploy as i described in my previous uh, 
uh, slides this will deploy bashan host and two application that i have shared and also uh, deploy the target uh, subnets and uh, uh, vpcs uh, so that we can migrate our infrastructure so i'll make you aware about all this so once this uh, stack deployment is complete then i'll resume this video again so we need to wait for like 15 20 minutes for this so after that i'll resume my video okay guys so uh, our stack has been deployed with some minor errors so that's okay it will not create any problem in testing our migration concept so there are some errors that due to my uh, factory mg and so there could be some error in this stack so it is showing as failed but uh, that's okay uh, this will not stop i try to resolve this error but uh, due to some uh, uh, due to some availability of resources uh, i am getting this error so but that's okay uh, that's that's not any uh, showstopper for testing our uh, testing our environment so this is our bashan host that is ready and uh, if we go to our uh, ec2 instances that are deployed let's go to ec2 instances and the network that is deployed network the vpc the instances all that is deployed so here you can see uh, the infrastructure that we discussed before dns uh, internal dns has been created and uh, uh, for for testing the purposes and we have uh, two applications so in this we have a wordpress database wordpress web we have a bashan host and uh, we have uh, of with another application uh, of this db so in this we have two uh, two applications as per the let me show you the diagram also you will get more clarity in this so uh, uh, as per our diagram that we used before so in this currently we are covering a uh, phase one this azure i'll cover in next video so in this uh, i am talking about this environment that is created uh, using this stack so we have bashan host we have one application uh, wordpress and its database and uh, wordpress and another is off base so uh, application and its database so all this is deployed and we will migrate this infrastructure from uh, on premises to aws cloud so using this bashan host we will access these uh, these servers and there is a dns server that is created to to access these uh, links on uh, uh, on url so this is created so mostly here we are testing environment internally only we are not going over the internet but mostly if we talk about real time scenarios also the only difference is that this dns will be uh, public so in that case they are directly accessing and uh, here we are just internally discussing but that's not a hindrance any uh, in clearing our concepts so I hope uh, this scenario is clear and uh, what we are trying to achieve that is also clear. So let's go to the console and move forward. So this is our environment. So let's go to go back to our cloud formation and Bashan host stack and then access our uh, Bashan host to access our servers. So you need to find Bashan host stack that is there source bin windows network source bastion output so here uh, uh, in the uh, passion host uh, stack you go to that stack and go to output from here you will get this ip address so let's copy this ip address and go to our uh, remote desktop application So paste the IP address. So from here we can access our root slash admin scraper connect. So I hope you remember the password that we used during that time. So you need to use the same password. 
root slash administrator admin at the one two. So here uh, either you can use root slash administrator or without that also that that's not a problem. So let's click on okay. So we are connected to our passion host. So again, uh, we are using this uh, IP address in the output tab. So if we go to our passion host, this is our passion host that is there. So from here, all the tools are deployed RDP and putty to access this. And uh, so now uh, once everything is ready, let's test our applications that are deployed. Uh, the, the application that is deployed using, uh, using the passion host so internal uh, dns is already created so let me get the links so uh, our bash host is ready so let's try to access our w w wordpress application so remote desktop So yes, we are uh, we are able to access our uh, website. So this is the WordPress site that is available. So let's copy another application also. paste the link of another application so this is not secure that's okay go to the web page okay add close so yes we are able to access our second application also <clears throat> so uh, i hope you understand the environment so our both applications are live and uh, <clears throat> we are able to access the applications using URLs. So this, all these URLs are possible for to use uh, the, uh, using the DNS server that we have already created. So let's move forward and uh, and uh, test the ADS. So let's get back to our uh, our. Uh, presentation for more clarification so this is our reference architecture that i have shown you so from bash and host i am accessing these applications so as a part of uh, <coughs> application discovery services uh, before this uh, migration reference architecture we have deployed the stack and uh, and deployed the stack so i hope you do not have any issues or any queries in case you fa face any problem in deploying the stack you can ping me or mention in the comments. I'll try to resolve your issues and you can also send me email. So this is quite interesting and lengthy practical. So uh, not issue if you face any errors. So that's normal. So we have accessed our passion host and explore our environment. So we try to access this application using the URLs and this application. So this is WordPress and this is of this application. So using this, we are uh, tested our environment. So everything is working fine. So let's move forward.